All right, guys, welcome back. Life is strange. This is episode five, Polarized, and we're on part four now. Just managed to stop the fire from blowing up. Uh, the whale diner. Oh, I didn't know I could look at the neon light. I never thought I'd see the two wheels look like that. Yeah, all right, so we've got to the door just about. Um, and I'm trying to save. Warren, who is, is in here apparently with Joyce. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, God. Oh, no. Not her. I should have warned her. How could I have warned her? I never even asked her name. So selfish. How could I have saved her? Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. Not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for E6. Okay, I believe that is bigger than the scale goes. Okay, the radio says uh, to evacuate everybody. What's this? Blackwell bullying? As a student at Blackwell Academy, I'm torn in writing this essay. I love my school and the education it has provided, but at the same time, I have to use my own critical thinking abilities as a budding journalist. So when I report that, a, that Blackwell has a problem, it's not with any glee or agenda. In fact, this problem reflects a disturbing national trend. In short, there are bullies at school and they are us. Wow. Good writing, Juliet. People are the cruelest. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. Save our bay. Oh god, right, come on, I can't I can't hang around doing this for much longer. I need to save everybody. This is getting silly now, come on. Right, how do we go through? Oh, do we go through? We Max. enter. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, it's a bit of a character reunion. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's going to make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out oh, no. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hello. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Yeah, very true. I mean. No, no, I'm just a pussy. No more music. No, why do I even look at these things? I don't know. The party is over. The vortex. This vortex. Oh, wow. It's much bigger. Yeah, very good point. <sighs> Tornadoes are a vortex of air. Is there some link, or is that just the game? Breakfast here. Only a few. Is that just the game sorting itself out? No, no, it's not time really to sit down, is it? Oh, there's Pompadou. That's um, Frank's dog. At least Frank still has Pompadou at his side. Yes, not killed by any cars in the road, and also not shot by Chloe. I consider myself. Proud of achieving those things. To have Frank on our team. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Okay. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Ah. Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh God, I've got to tell him. I've got to tell him. I can't save Rachel. He should know this. Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson has this creepy photo torture room. 
And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Pompidou hated him. Yeah, you saw. You saw Rachel. Oh, man. Well, I guess I presume we saw her face. I presume that that's who it was buried. I don't know. I mean, I personally don't know, but they, Chloe and, and uh, Max said they knew. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say yes, I think. Oh, God, what if I'm wrong? Me as a player, what if I'm wrong? And that actually, Chloe and Max saw a dead body and assumed it was Rachel. Oh, that's a possibility. Yes, I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? Oh, uh, overdose. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... is if I sold it to him. Oh, that's true. I killed my lioness. Well, no, no, you didn't. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just, it's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. Wow. I know. Another with Chloe. Oh, let's not even mention Chloe. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Well, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. God damn it. Uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. Oh, God. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. <laughs> but you're cool. Next to you. Well, there's one thing there I think that uh, a few people would take uh, objection to. Jesus. When he said that Chloe was man enough. Uh, let's just say Chloe was probably just about woman enough, right? Joyce has got everybody's back. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. You mean let's talk so he can't hear us? Joyce. I like it. How are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Oh God, I don't. Uh, I'm not. I'm not telling anyone that she's dead just yet. I mean, she's dead now. I might be able to save her, so I'm not. I don't need to tell anybody. Um, I'll find her, I suppose. I. I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe. And David, I'll hold up someplace safe. Well, David's in an Sorry underground. All this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't always show it. Perfect storm. Brilliant. Or I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, probably, for, for splitting them up. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. And I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. 
With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. And Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? Yes. Yes. David saved my wife from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe. Even if he couldn't show it, David needs you more than ever. And I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. Well, not right now. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. Right. Get just get back together. Stop talking about it. Came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Well, well, yes, we can make that happen. Oh, Would you just stop? Soon. Good. Right. There you go. Now that's good. She was right to, to well, uh, you know, she was right to tell him off. I can't lose you. They can get back together. Right, now Warren, dude, I need your photograph. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. Damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. <laughs> You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. Oh, God. In Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? <laughs> oh god, don't say he killed Chloe. No, no, no. I started the storm? Are we are we are we there yet? I mean, dude, is that what we think? I mean I've sort of thought that for a long time, but Oh, alright. I, I think that the storm started everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the wheels. Everything! All because... because of me? How? Her lips aren't moving. I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. <sighs> what happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Uh, yep, he really did. He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, 
Maybe you caused a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Oh my god, right, so... Yeah, this is exactly what we were all thinking, right? That the, the storm, the, the, the moon, the eclipse... Everything is related to my power somehow. I don't still yet see how my influence... Anything I've done could have any influence on the weather, though. I realise chaos theory is about... A butterfly that flaps its wings can cause a monsoon the other side of the planet. That I still don't believe. My ability to transform time, like like I do, has caused this tornado. There's something else. Surely that can't be right. That can't be right. Um, you believe me or more time together? This is my fault. Just, just say you believe me. That's pretty amazing. I only told you a second ago. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass and and you've always treated me like a person. Not not a beta nerd. I I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. <laughs> that makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Oh, there's the photo. Oh, Warren, he's got such the biggest crush on Max ever. I knew he said me, but that would have sounded a little odd. Uh, but at least uh, Max found the ability to use her lips while still talking. I think we found another ability of Max's is that she can actually talk without moving her lips. She will, if she doesn't make it as a photographer, she's going to be an awesome ventriloquist. I hope those supplies are enough. Okay, right. Is it time? Is there anything else I can possibly do? Little doggy. Uh, it's you I really want to save, little dog. Is there anything else I can do? If not, it's time to give this a go. Hey, be careful out there. Oh, hug, kiss, or leave. Ooh, wow. What do I do here? I mean, he, he fancies me. Do I fancy him? I'm a man. I have to give him a hug. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> I, I hope that's okay. Could use a hug before I do this. Me too. I mean, I think Max would probably have kissed him. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Wow. Please be. Oh, I can rewind that. Do you know what? I was having second thoughts. You know, just simply because if I'm going to go back and change things, he's not going to remember this anyway. And I'm sure there are those of you that might want to see a different ending to this part of the story. Go on then, I'm just not looking. <laughs> it's probably what she would do, to be honest. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Lauren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. There we go. I swear. So, well, I, I know he's fancied me for a long time. Me. Oh, stop saying me. I'm not me. It's her. It's her. <laughs> Sorry. 
Yeah. Okay. This is the this is the complexity of, of playing a female character in a game. <laughs> right. Are you ready? Let's do this. I'm not quite quite sure how I can change anything, but this is just before we go into the vortex party. Time for this shit. Come on, Max. <sighs> Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? <laughs> Just glad we're here together. Tell her. Tell her now. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right Stop. now. Isn't sorry, we were connected to Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait. Listen. I can walk and listen. Okay. Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? <sighs> Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Right. Jefferson killed him. He he did. Uh, Jefferson is a psychopath. Je Jefferson hurt me. Um, oh my god! All of all of the above are true. Can I press all three buttons at the same time? Right, I'm going to try that. I'm going to actually do that and see which one it picks. Oh. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! No! Oh, you... Oh, you almost had her, Max. Right. I can still do this. Okay, okay, let's just change that last... part of the conversation, right? Excuse me, I'm going... Okay. Definitely Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead. That fucker is our... Yep. Because... I was there. Please tell me exactly what I will. Right. So so the randomness picked of randomness of my fingers uh picked Jefferson killed him. So let's just say Jefferson hurt me. That's probably going to get her going again. She'll run in and kill him. Okay. Well, let's go for Jefferson is a psychopath. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Oh, here we go. More options. Um, let the past go. Jefferson hurt me or don't leave me. Don't leave me right now because you need to hear more. Um, Jefferson hurt me. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson. Don't run. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Wow. A terrible choice. I fucked up or nothing. What have I done? I've, I've achieved nothing so far. Well, I, no, that's not true. <sighs> I don't know what to say. 
Oh god. Um What have I done? I've done I've done nothing. I no, no. I oh god, I don't know what to choose. Chloe, I'm I'm going to tell you the truth no matter what. I changed your past and I I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I, I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I oh, was God. I to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you you asked me to end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline to see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... Why you should come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Oh, well, there's way more to this story than... I've told you so far, Chloe. Wow, actually, that, that last part kind of... That touched me. Oh. Okay, right. David saved me. David cares about you or David was ahead of us. Um, David cares about you. David saved... David saved me. Uh, maybe, again, it'll tell... We'll tell her all of these things. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Oh, wow. What have we changed? She's not... She's not dead. Oh, good. Good, they're both telling David. Excellent. He's taking on Jefferson in the dark room. Oh no, the the whole team of cops take him on. The storm is coming. Still coming. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked! It actually worked! You're with me again! Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And... I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over and... I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm 
I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously to myself. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure could not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Oh, hey, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Chloe. I've got to go back. God, what's happened? Whoa. What? Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I, I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Was. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our I have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This color, might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition up. in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller. Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Gloria. freak out. Why Arbus? Oh my god. Images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? What's happening? What's going on? Oh my god. Nobody Shh. even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you. What the hell is this? And capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. What the hell were all those things battered on the window? Were they, were they like birds that had flown in through? Guys, I have to end the episode here, but I bet you we'll come back to the next one. This is amazing. I love it. And if I probably, I didn't speak, but I was probably the only one who was thinking, get off the damn beach. But those two are so, so special together. It's so nice to see their friendship. And thank God, Chloe's alive this time. But what the hell's happened now? If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. You took the words right out of my mouth, Max. Guys, come back. Hit the like button if you're enjoying this. And please subscribe if you're new. And tell your friends about the channel. That would really help me out. Thank you so much. I can't wait to play the next part. I'll be back very soon. All the best, guys. And good night.